Welcome, everybody. I'm here to talk about Lipard, and I'm super excited to get into these buffs and changes. But quickly, as a little disclaimer, if you are new here, definitely make sure you check out the description below. There is a link to the very same Google Sheets that I use in all my videos. And uh, if you are new here and you aren't familiar with my work, you know, you might be really confused as to what the hell is going on because of all these crazy new moves and all this stuff I'm talking about. So definitely make sure you check that out um, in the description below. And most importantly, there is this tab here on the bottom. There's a bunch of useful tabs here that you can scroll out and look at. But uh, most importantly, there is the move sheet where you can look at every single move buff and change in this hack because every move is buffed or changed for the most part. So definitely give those a look. Um, there's like very few exceptions that are unchanged. Um, but yeah, with that being said, we've got Perloin and Lipard. Uh, dark normal typing. Uh, it fits, but the main reason is balancing uh, overlap and with other Pokemon, for example, other pure dark types uh, like Alolan Persian, uh, and also Absol. Absol being a pure dark type of Ruthless. Of course, he has the Mega, and that's Dark Berry, and his other abilities, you know, different as well. So I'm not trying to say that Absol would terribly overlap, um, but you know, it's just too similar. Um, and I don't want to give Lipard super luck as a dark normal type because then that overlaps with Persian. Both Persians are uh, have super luck. Um, critical hit removes are reworked in this hack. Ruthless is essentially sniper. And if you slap a scope lens on your Lipard, your slash and night slash, which are stab, will be uh, 158 base power without stab. Uh, of course, you do have to if you do have to use a scope lens, but those will always crit, um, which is very strong. And of course, you are extremely fast, 121 base speed, 109 base attack, really great. Uh, it's very frail, obviously, but that's just a given. I did have to drop a special attack stat because I wanted it to be 480 base that total, so it would evolve in time for Hala. Oh, I have to change this. I, yeah, because at one point they were 515 and I kept the mixed attacking, but it, I realized like they had no moves for mixed attacking anyways, and we already have Persian who's mixed, so like, what's the point? Um, just drop a special attack and make it uh, legal for Hala, um, because Hala will be level 20, but let me go and change that evolution level before I forget. But yeah, um, it's just really strong. Ruthless is incredibly powerful. Uh, and then you have really good coverage with Ruthless, so you have x Scissor, Laceration, Psycho Cut, Finishing Blow, and First Impression. Uh, which are all 100, uh, 50 to 50 percent crit moves first impression and finishing blow always crit actually uh, and then at level 55 you have wicked blow which is obviously boosted by 50 percent and you don't even need to hold that scope lens so uh one on nine base attack stab wicked blow with ruthless is an absolute fucking nuke it's incredibly powerful i can't understand how strong that move is of course basically every ruthless pokemon gets wicked blow for the most part it's like let me go to the little graph or whatever you want to call it the little graphic here i'm curious out of uh, this is very unrelated. I, I feel like only one or two of them don't get wicked blow. To be honest, looking at them, uh, yeah, Beautifly is the only one that doesn't get wicked blow. Probably maybe uh, Haunter and Bayonet. Bayonet probably gets it actually because of Mega, but Haunter doesn't need it. I think it's something of it. So yeah, because it's a uh, dark type. Ghost type using a dark type move is pretty pointless unless it's stab. Um, but. Yeah, uh, Ru uh, Ruthless is incredibly powerful, okay? You can check out a more detailed guide on the sheet below if you're more interested in how that works in depth, but it's very strong and uh, it's a great ability for Purloin and Lifeguard. Uh, well, li uh, Lifeguard only, Purloin has Prankster, which is good for the first island for utility and stuff, um, you know, for situational things. Uh, keep in mind, as Romac, you do have access to infinite usability capsules, but yeah, the main reason I gave the Dark Normal was for Stab. Uh, stab on Tail Slap, Slash, Fake Out, and Quick Attack, most importantly. Um, and of course, a bunch of other moves, but most importantly, those four moves, you know, the quick the technician moves, quick attack, quick attack, tail slap, and then uh, slash. Uh, also, it just fits, in my opinion. Um, and again, the overlap with all the other Pokemon. There was a lot of pure normal types and a lot of pure dark. Not that he would be pure normal, but there's a lot of pure dark types already. Not too many, actually, but it was too similar to uh, Absol and a little Persian, so I figured dark normal. Also, much better dual stab. Also, in terms of uh, utility, it gives it uh, the ability to switch in on ghost type moves easier because it's immune. Obviously, uh, pure dark type resists, but it's so frail that like strong ghost type moves, which are obviously very strong in this hack, uh, every Pokemon's strong for the most part, um, would be doing a lot of damage still. So, you know, being, being having that a total, excuse me, having that total immunity is great and being four times weak to, to fighting does not matter. You're already down to fighting moves. It does not matter at all. It's, 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 it's a non-factor. Um, it's just a good, it's just a great typing. Dual stab also, dark normal is some of the best dual stab in the game it's a great dual stab combo so yeah that's awesome typing wise hopefully that clears that up for anybody who's curious and then ruthless that's what that does very very strong uh and then technician is also great keep in mind that speed tier is also incredible 121 um speed tiers are a lot higher in this hack so it's not like absolutely insane like it would be in vanilla but 121 is still a great speed tier to be in uh you are in the top like probably 15 20 percent of uh speed in the, in the game probably even higher 
uh, currently. If you look at all the speed tiers, there's a guide here, so you can check out where uh, Life Party stacks up. Keep in mind also, whenever I talk about the speed tiers, keep in mind that your Pokemon aren't going to have max IVs or EVs, or you're not even guaranteed to get a plus speed nature, so you kind of have to work with what you get, um, because battle caps aren't until post-game, sadly. Um, they're not usable until post-game, so... Yeah, um, and then Nature Mints don't exist in Gen 7. But, um, and I can't program those in. I, I don't have that freedom. Uh, I, pr I prefer it that way, though. It helps you, like, use more unorthodox things because of your nature, maybe, or your IVs. Um, but regardless, 121 is still great. Like, I'm pretty sure I shittily IV'd in Trinitia Live Park, but still has to be, like, a base 110 Jolly Pokemon, most likely. Yeah, I might be lying, actually. Probably wouldn't. But, yeah, the point is, you have really powerful options. And a Technician uh, logically fits uh, because... Pokemon like Persian had it, and it's the same idea. They're just a cat. I don't know. I mean, Technician, you could really slap on any Pokemon that would fit fine, to be honest. I might have also removed Technician from those. Yeah, I actually removed Technician from Persian because of the overlap with the uh, Ambipom. Uh, but Persian has its own great abilities, and it has uh, signatures and moves and really fun stuff, so you can go check that out if you're curious. And it's also a mixed attacker, which is fun. Uh, his hubris, all that fun stuff. But that's not a video. That's not relevant here. That's for another video. Uh... Bit rained here tonight. I'm sorry for, for those of you who are used to the more streamlined videos, but I wanted to get this one out before I went to bed. So yeah, uh, technician's great. Uh, you got really powerful tail slap and furious wipe to dual stab, and then you have fake out and quick attack, which are all really strong. Fake out 75 base power, quick attack 75 base power. Uh, tail slap and furious wipes are minimum of 75 base power, maximum of 188 base power, um, and that's great. And then you also have coverage. Uh, Covet is 90 base power with technician. Knock off is 90 base power with technician. Uh, always because it is weaker in this hack, but in this case, it's actually a buff for a technician Pokemon. It is a lot of those, so it's kind of like a nerf slash buff, honestly, uh, to knock off. And then, and it's not like it's that much worse. It's still 90 base power, uh, no matter what. Um, Acrobatics technically could be technician boosted. First impression is technician boosted because it's a 60 base power move that always crits. So that's that's boosted by both ruthless and technician, which is cool. Um, and that's about it for technician. It's it's pretty straightforward. Straightforward, excuse me. Uh, finishing blow as well. Oh my goodness, I actually forgot about beat up. That's a crazy one. So yeah, um, finishing blow is really strong. That's what that works with both ruthless and technician, similar to first impression, and that will give you plus three attack, and that's roughly eighty base power. Um, plus three attack if you kill something, of course. It's 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 soft thing here. I thought it was an obvious. Um, and then. Lastly, you have beat up as technician. Uh, technically, power trip could also be technician boosted, and also punishment is technician boosted. Punishment is a bit situational, but it's really good against like totems when they have the totem boost. For example, if they have an omni boost, punishment becomes uh, 160 base power. So that's really strong. Um, and if the totem has like a plus two boost, then punishment becomes 100 base power. That kind of thing. So it's always really nice um, to have. But yeah, lastly, beat up uh, incredibly powerful. The formula for beat up is actually not bad at all. Um, it's just a bad move in vanilla, but like. If you have all six Pokemon alive and you have like over 100 base attack on all your Pokemon, you're getting like an incredibly strong move because the formula, I believe, off the top of my head, is your base attack divided by 10 plus 5. So Lipard's beat up would be 109 divided by 10, 1.9. Sorry, but divided by. Oh, crap. Divided by. Yeah, divided by 10 is 19. Yeah, 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 19. And then uh, plus 5 is 24. That is right. I'm checking. I have it on the sheet. Um, but regardless, if you boost with Technician, that means, that means you're like 30 base power. I, I thought I had the... Uh, yeah, here, here. Attack stat, party member, base attack divided by 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was right. Plus 5. So, 109, 19, plus 5, 24 base power. With Technician, that is 36 base power. Um, and say all your other Pokemon have the same exact attack stat. Say all your other Pokemon are base 100 attacks. So that means you would have a... Uh, 10, okay, I'm ranting too much. Look, let's just say they're all, say you have 10, 5, 6 Lipard, okay? Hypothetically speaking. So that would be 36 times 6. That is a 216 base power move, okay? It's really strong. Technician beat up is very powerful. Um, although you have to keep in mind all your Pokemon have to be alive and they all have to have a good base attack. So if you're doing a team lock Nuzlocke or something, you know, you might not always have physical attackers on your team. So, uh, yeah. The good thing is it does use the base attack, though. So if you have a mixed attacker or something, you can still uh, get that mixed uh, attacking base stat. Uh, so, yeah, that's really fun. Beat up's great. Technics beat up very powerful. That's why it's later later on than uh, Fury Swipes, which is also very strong, of course. Maximum 188 base power. I'm going to leave the video off there, honestly. They have an like, incredible coverage line set, as you can see here. You can see what all these moves do now as well. Uh, setup wise is really great. Yeah, you got Swords Dance. That's really all you need. Uh, that's all you'd ever want. Uh, great utility. Charm, Befriend, Parting Shot, uh, Taunt, Thunder Wave, and a bunch of other stuff. Yawn, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Topsy Terry is great for totems. It reverses stat changes, so that's really fun. Uh, 
And ZF6 gives you an Omni Boost, uh, which is really strong. Uh, plus one speed, plus one attack is what's really important there. And Power Trip, plus uh, Z Assist is very strong. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. I'll leave the video off there. Thank you so much for listening. Hopefully these uh, changes were satisfactory. Hopefully you like this type of thing. If you did, definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, I'm trying to hit 1K soon, so that'd be pretty cool. And I'll be back for more. Um, also, I will be taking a break after tomorrow for a couple days for New Year's and stuff. So just a heads up for that. And yeah, bye everybody.